Hey guys, and welcome to Expose Your Talent Online with MyArtistPortfolio.com. My name is Jewel Tolentino, and in this video, we're going to teach you how to design your website. Now, below this video, you'll notice a link to a Word document titled Pre-Design Checklist. This list will help you organize how you're going to design your website before you actually start working on it. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed with where to begin or just want to make sure that you're on the right track, this list will especially be helpful to you. Your first step is to print out this document and give thought to each point before jotting your, your ideas down. Once you've written down your ideas, use this as your guide to stay focused on the purpose of your design and also to help speed up the process. Let's go through designing the website together using the information from your completed checklist. Okay, so we're going to, you're going to sign in to your WordPress admin panel. Okay, so once you do that, the first thing you're going to need to do is upload a theme. So there are, there are many free WordPress themes that you can upload, but we paid for ours. If you're going, why do I need to pay for a theme when I can get one for free? Well, that's exactly the same reaction that we had, unfortunately. We did the whole quote-unquote free themes thing. And we wasted way too much time trying to find the, the, a free WordPress theme that would actually work and look good at the same time. It was either it looked good and it didn't work, like there were so many bugs wrong with it, or it worked and it was a very ugly theme. So if you want to if you want to just have a basic blog site and you're not too picky about the aesthetics of things, then sure go ahead, you know, you can find a free theme. There are thousands and thousands out there. But I mean, if you want something more, we would advise to just save yourself the frustration and investment of time and just get a good reliable looking theme like we did with Headway. We did some research and found that Headway was the best one out there because of the visual editor that I'm about to show you in, in a couple of seconds here. So the Headway is actually $87 but believe me it pays for itself and we don't want you to waste time we just want you to get into things and get started right away because I'm sure you guys would like to do that as well. So, with the Headway theme, you just simply upload your pictures, add text, drag and drop to arrange certain sections for your site, set your colors, and go. I mean, you're going to have to learn the visual editor, but it's way easier compared to the other free themes out there. With the free themes, because they are free, they're usually limited in what you can do, so sometimes you can only get that color with that pattern and you can't really change very much with the structure of the way it looks. So whatever you choose, it's really up to you. We're just giving you your options and telling you what we went through with our experiences. Um, when you upload the theme, you'll see the options when you go to appearance, you click on themes and this is where you would install the theme. The, this is the theme that we have installed already, but if you have one in mind, you can search for a free one through here. Or if you press upload and you have the headway theme, you could install that. We're going to start by building the backbone of the site. So setting up the pages, including content, and then we can worry about the colors and design, etc. So to get onto the visual editor, it's really easy. On the left hand side, if you install Headway, you'll just see that right here. You click on the visual editor and it should pop up on its own. There it goes, we'll just wait for that. Okay, so this is the visual editor and that is our Esatino Connections site right now. So basically, you're just going to go through and play around on the site. 
that's the best way to learn really there but we're just going to go through the basics of the visual editor okay so you'll notice that you have some titles here styles and design leafs and columns the header navigation footer and site dimensions under style and design you'll see here when you click on this it will show you basically every part of your site that you can customize. Let's go to body and if you notice the body is black and if you want to find out what they're talking about body, which what is that, click on call this element and it's going to, did you see that flash, that yellow flash, I'll do it again, did you see that, there you go, that flash, that, when it does that, that's highlighting what they're talking about. So that is black and we've set that at black. And what you can do is just go down the list and changing the colors to what you want it to be. But before you do that, you, you want to choose your colors and your theme and then go in there and, you know, make everything pretty by that. If that's black, then that's got to be red and then that's got to be white. Okay, so you can just play around with that. Styles, there are actually, if you don't know what kind of color theme you want, they have some available to you and um, background you can also upload a background image if you want a specific image and make it tile you can do that as well see they have here tile tile horizontally tile vertically no tiling so if you just want one big picture i usually go with tile but it's up to you but we don't have a background image here so that was the first tab leaves and columns Okay, so columns, right now we have two columns, this section and this section. So we have one sort of bigger one and then a sidebar type thing going on. That's, um, typically you want to have two, two columns. You can do three, but I find things get a little bit cluttered with, with three. You can, I mean, I've seen sites with three, but, um... I find uh, to keep things organized and neat. When you want to arrange the leaves, the leaves are these things right here. This is a leaf right here, right here. So there's a content leaf, there's a widget leaf, an about leaf, featured posts, HTML, image rotator, recent posts, Twitter, text, so basically, how we put this picture up right here is we, we added a text leaf and we arranged the size. Then we already had our image uploaded in the media gallery. Let's go back to the WordPress admin. So when you upload your pictures, you're going to want to do that through the media. So that picture I was just showing you how we did that was we copied this this whole address here this is the location of the image on your site and then you go back to the visual editor and you will have added your text leaf and you would basically just paste that let's open it you would just paste that in there oh it did you see that for a flash for a second it was the the text of it the text is actually this, the image that you see in front of you. So that's how you would add an image. And this right here, this is just the blog portion of it. So the content, that's this leaf right here. And uh, columns. This is where you choose the columns. We have two. You can choose up to four. And um, you can choose the column widths. So the first column is 692 and the second column is 228 pixels. And you don't really need to worry about templates unless you already have a template, um, a pre-made headway template. That's also easier too. So when you're arranging the leaf, so how that leaf is there and how that widget is there and that widget is there is we arranged them to be in that location so when you want to arrange something you click enable otherwise if you try to move something and it's not enabled you won't be able to do so uh, 
This is where you resize the, the leaves, so making it wider, taller, and arranging and resizing the columns. So if you wanted to move this around, make it both equal columns, or if you want to make this a little bit smaller and this side a little bit bigger, that's how you would do that. The header. So we uploaded that image, and that's this one up here. We made that in Photoshop, uploaded that to our media gallery where I just showed you this picture, got that address at the bottom of that particular header image. You can paste the link directly here, or if you have the picture on your desktop or anywhere else, you can upload it from here as well. So that's the header and navigation. You can customize your navigation bar, that's this right here. So you can move it to, you can make it so it's above the header or do you see how they're sectioned off into blocks? You can get rid of that. Um, you can only have the lettering so it's like floating or you can move it to this side here, the right hand side whatever your preference is. Play around, you know, this is, this, they made this visual editor really fun. It's, it's like, you know, you're back in art school again, not art school, but you're taking art in school and you're just playing in computer class. So definitely play around and see what you can do. Um, the footer here is at the bottom and uh, we made it a fluid footer and we didn't want to show, you can choose which elements you'd like to show what's right for you guys and that's up to you and the site dimensions so that I wouldn't play around with, I just left it as is but I mean if you want to change things around that's up to you guys so that's basically the basic overview of the Headway Visual Editor. I guarantee you will not see this visual editor with any other theme. This visual editor makes it so much more easier to work with. It, compared to when we didn't have this, it would take us a lot longer to get a site done. But now that we do have Headway, we save so much time. Okay, so now we're done with that. Um, this is just a checklist I wanted to go through with you guys. It's only for your reference. 